Hello beautiful people. It's Tuesday and I wanted to bring a layout to you. This process is a scrapbook layout that I made for, um, well it's based on one of the Wilna designs from her, her recent class and I believe this is the one that I made. Oh yeah, it's true. Oh, she's so cute. Um, that's one of Wilna's cut files, and I just painted it black. And she actually has cut files for the light bulbs, but I went ahead and just used some Maya Road ones that I had in my stash. And I'm going to use the cutout ones on a layout for Cortland. So I took a piece of color wash paper here as my main background piece, and I backed it on a piece of basil cardstock from the June Bug collection, which was eons ago. And I wanted to illuminate the lights, so to speak, so I just watercolored with my trusty little palette around them. And here I'm just sticking them on, basically, with a pop dot. <laughs> Not even a pop dot, a glue dot. Um, and the feather, the yellow feather, is one that I had in my stash back when feathers were a big deal and everybody was using them. I finally broke down and bought one package <laughs> of a real feather and it was yellow. And I've, I think four or five came in a package and I'm down to like this one and one more. <laughs> so that shows you how much I can utilize real feathers. I can't. <laughs> but uh, this is a Christmas picture and True loves to cook. She is my little baker girl. And so I found this, um, well it's not a crock pot, it is actually a Dutch oven, but it's a little tiny mini one. And True has always been in love with little tiny miniature things. And so she makes mini pies and when she was really little she had My Little Pony and the little tiny miniatures and she had little teeny tiners pound puppies that came in their own little house that you could fold it all up and carry like a little tiners purse <laughs> I mean it was so so cute and she kept them forever Polly Pocket oh my goodness she anything teeny tiny like that was her thing and she didn't even necessarily play with it she just wanted it <laughs> and she just sit there and have it and look at it and display it so when I saw this little teeny tiny and it's by that company that's really popular it's like a French Le, Le, Le Croset or something like that I probably murdered that <laughs> um, I saw it at a specialty store that sells bakeware and so I just knew she'd have to have it because it's tiny and the Flare is from a variety of places. I'm trying to remember. Um, I think one of them is des uh, Cloud Nine Designs. Uh, there you see one is Jubilee, and one is a flare for buttons. Up, I think it's the one up at the top on the right. That's a flare for buttons. I added some gold arrows from one of my Freckled Fawn kits, which I s that's the only kit I still get, and I absolutely love it. I just love my freckled fine kit because you know I'm kind of an embellishment junkie um, and then enamel dots from my mind's eye cut and paste the roller date stamp is Heidi Swap and of course I put my little enamel dots going around the flare because I'd love to do that I'm just gonna wrap this up with some Lindsay stamp gang and those colors are Grab a Guy Gold and Mango Mania. And just a quick, easy, fun layout. I hope you enjoy it. And I've got still pictures at the end. And I hope that you join my Facebook group at the Pretty Paper page. We've got a challenge to use doilies. Oh, and Saturday is Saturday Stash Dive. So I will be bringing that to you. And I believe my partner this weekend is Ronnie Sue. So I will talk to you later.
Bye-bye for now. Bye.